years and I made my rounds. I made my rounds. I'm back to There's no stopping me. No stopping me. Get out of my way. I'm like a runaway train flying at a supersonic speed. I got what you want. I got it. I got what you need. I got it. Welcome to the show. Get ready for the major leagues. All right. All my life I said, I'm going to be one of the greats. Now I'm finally here. Despite playing in a division that featured three 90-win teams a year ago, the Toronto Blue Jays are feeling good about the future. The Jays were beset by injuries up and down the roster in 2018. And despite a strong April, were never really able to find a consistent lineup or rotation. Now three years removed from back-to-back -back trips to the ALCS, Toronto has laid the groundwork for a new generation of stars to take center stage. If they can stay healthy, the Blue Jays believe they can make some serious noise in 2019 and beyond. will play host to the Detroit Tigers to open the 2019 season. Before we get things started, let's send it down to Heidi Watney for a report on this young Blue Jays squad. Matt, this club is not widely considered to be a contender this year, so most experts would caution their fan base to temper their expectations. But in talking with their new manager, he expressed to me his optimism for his club, emphasizing his confidence in the young foundation they've put together. These Canadian fans are hopeful to see some signs of growth coming off a disappointing 73 and 89 campaign. And a win at home on opening day would be a nice start, so let's see if those Jays can give it to them. Thanks, Heidi. And with that, let's get this 2019 season underway. Well, welcome to those of you just joining us. We're in the sixth inning. The Nobody out. Stepping in, Jimer Candelario. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Here's the first pitch to him. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. There is Travis. Throw to first oh. gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next for the Tigers, the second baseman, Josh Harrison. Josh Harrison stands in. Head to head history with Marcus Stroman. He's hitting 429. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A bouncer to the left side. Rury has it. Barehanded at his knees. Wow. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Jordy Mercer. Next up for Detroit, Jordy Mercer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip.
Here comes the first pitch. Softly hit to short. Galvis is there. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. We are still scoreless. Settling in now, Devin Travis. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Devin. First pitch coming, here it is. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Outside, that's the ball. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's now been batting. pitching from the stretch the entire hit. game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. Here's Justin Smoke now coming into this one against Michael Fulmer. He's only one for ten. First pitch of the at bat. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. On the line, that's a base hit. Yeah, and that back-to-back -back base knocks right off the bat here. As we take a look at the numbers, you see they aren't that bad, but he's definitely got into a no-odd jam here. We'll see if he can get out of it. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Here's Randall Gritchick. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the 0-1. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's Harrison for one to Cabrera to complete the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's the best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now.
Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Change up makes him jump a swing and a miss. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back to back singles to the first two batters. And it's one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. No score at this point, but a two-out hit could get a runner in from third. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes now across to score. Boy, Day some really third. good pitching going into the sixth third. inning in this one. Big RBI base hit to break through. What a pitcher's duel this been. Yeah, Dan, the pitching's been great, but something I've been focusing on is how great the defenses have been on both sides. To push a run across in the sixth inning, let's get the bullpens fired up. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. This one's down to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Leading off the inning, Miguel Cabrera, as they look to get something going here and even this game up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch on its way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. Nice job there, now taking care of the leadoff hitter right via the strikeout. I'll tell you, yeah. in a one-run game, Tough especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Now the pitch. Ah. And that's in there for strike one. up and the 0 1 and that's inside off the plate with the fastball it's one and one a lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood he got it in there but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball.
Ball. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. You see that swing right there. You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also, the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation now with these middle of the order guys. Bigger. That's back-to-back -back K's. Hit. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Head-to-head oh. -head history with Marcus Stroman, not great. He's one for eight. And that's right there, and we're even at one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. The 2 1 home. Strike two, swinging. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Bases are empty here with two men out. Soft liner towards short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Standing in, Brandon Drury. He'll start it out against Michael Palmer to begin the inning. Drury. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Change up called strike one. Hold one to the count. Line towards center field. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. Ready. Standing in now. Freddie Galvis as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready with the 0 1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. One and one.
Drury aboard here at first with nobody out. Lifted the other way to left center. Matuk sprinting after it. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter, number 10. Stepping into the box, Reese McGuire. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Here it comes, 0-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Yeah, Maddie. I mean, the numbers don't lie. They tagged him for 10 hits, including that fielder. last one. And he's that. having a hard time yeah, getting man. out of any trouble. They might be buying oh, oh. some time to let the relievers get a few more pitches in before they give him the hook. In now, Kevin Pillar. Strike one to start the at-bat. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Two and one, the count of Pilar. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Runners are at first and second with one away. the 2-2. Two -two. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Drury rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score as they extend their lead to two. Well, they already have the lead, but that extra run makes a huge difference. Even if it's only psychological, the pitcher knows when he steps out there that he has a little bit of wiggle room to work with. seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll wind up going six and a third, and he's kept his club in it to this point, though he cannot win the ball game. Robert Higgins is out from the bullpen now, now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Devin Travis will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Stewart is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 3-0 game. 
Well, this ends up being a sack fly, but you've got to love the effort out there. Sacrificed his body to make that catch, and I'll tell you, that didn't feel good. Probably saved extra bases by making that play. Into the box, Justin Smoke. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Comes set and the 0 1. Fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at 1 and 1. Verhagen stands 6 foot 6 and throws from the right side. He was a fourth round selection during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. A 2 and 1 count to the Blue Jays' first baseman. Two out with the man at first. To two and two now. And prior to the two two, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Outside and a full count, three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Blue Jays are running away with it here. It's now a 5-0 ball game. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box now, Randall Gritchick. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. And it's out of here. Gritchick leaves the yard with a solo shot. First home run of the campaign for him. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back-to-back -back homers. But there is a need for short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Stepping in now, Rowdy Tellers. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stewart is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Jays are out in front, six to nothing. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. It doesn't Number look very 14. promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First offering on its way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two-seamer. 
He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back to work. Outside for a ball, one and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. The one two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Blue Jays trying to hold on here at the Rogers Center. The center they lead it here in the eighth as you get a look at the line be. score to this point in the Martha. contest. And that'll bring up Mikey Mata. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight and mechanically he looks really consistent and fluid to me. The wind up and the 0 1. It's sharply but foul down the right side. two once more still no balls and two strikes now a check swing and he went around says the home plate umpire no appeal needed and there are two away well, you the can catcher, tell by their approach 17. that they're going to go up there and try to be Great aggressive thing. off this guy, but Wrong. he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. In now, Grayson Grenier. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One and one. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The one one. Taken ah. strike two. I got the count one and two. Chin high slider laid off for a ball. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Jimer Candelario would be next. Two out, nobody on. Line towards center field. Pilar is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Tigers. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Striding into the box, Oscar Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Moore has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career, and through those innings, he's posted a whiff a little under 1.5. Certainly something he'd like to improve on. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. hit pretty well out toward right center field. Matuk on the move. He's there and records the first out. The batter, the third baseman, Brandon Drury. Ready for another shot now, Brandon Drury. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First offering on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. And even one and one count to Brandon Drury. One out, nobody on. Two and one. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, d -Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher is giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 1 pitch lifts it into the air to shallow center. Matuk moving in. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now batter. Number 10. Ready now. Reese McGuire. He singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all the ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, yeah, middle in. He's able to drive oh, that oh. for a nice single. Standing in now, Kevin Pillar. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, one and one. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. Liner toward right center. And that's going to get down out there. 
And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now, now with two gone. Boy, this is a big inning for him. How about back to back to back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic. You got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone. Here comes the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. And he pulls the string on the circle change, but it's taken for ball one. One one is laid off of down and in. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. And it misses three and one now. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1. And now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Oh, and it misses ball four. And that will force home a run. Digging in the switch hitter, Justin Smoke. Mono and mono matchup numbers against Matt Moore. He's just two for 12. He's set. Here it comes. Not oh, close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. McGuire on third, Pilar over at second, Travis at first, two out in the inning. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Blue Jays forced to settle for just the one. We played eight full. The Jays lead it seven to nothing. The next batter, Jamer Candelario, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. No balls and a strike to count. Another 0-2. Nope. That ball. misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. The one-two. 
this is flared right back over the mound. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. As we take a look at his numbers, number a couple one. of things jump Second out reason. at you. Definitely, man. John. He's been throwing it by guys the Eric. entire game. But that leads to some high pitch counts. And that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. A swing and a ground ball to third. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. Back to first. The ninth inning double play. And they're an out away from closing this one out. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result. A double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Here's Jordy Mercer now. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. pitch of the at bat on its way this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time bases are empty here with two men out and two strikes now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Last breath for the Tigers. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Travis has it. Throw on the first is going to be in time. And the Blue Jays move to 1-0 on the young season as this ball game is over. Well, we emphasized earlier in the telecast what a lift it can be to win on opening day. But what do you really think this means, Dero? Well, for the winner, it's a huge confidence boost, Dan, no doubt. But for the loser, hey, it's just one game. You shake it off, remind yourself you're at the beginning of...